Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some hints and tips on how to level up efficiently and fast and be respectful of your time. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it and try and make this video kind of as short as I can. There are going to, there is going to be some bounty farming if you want to maximize your XP, right? But there are, there's a lot more to it than just doing bounties. So I, what I do right off the bat every day, because I'm going for a challenge, I'm trying to hit season rank a thousand legitimately in about seven weeks i do all three characters every day i do all the all the bounties available to me every day it takes me about an hour to do a run on the bounties and it's worth about half a million xp so if i do all three characters that's 15 season ranks before i've touched any activities now i do split that time up i do some at night and some just before reset a character before reset but if you've only got one character and you do this two or three times a week, that's 15 season ranks for you a week. Now, as you can see, I don't use blind, blinding light. I don't get the 12%. I put the 10% on and I use uh, the combo detector that detects all chests and materials in the area. The reason for that is I forego the 2% because of how much XP materials and chests give you. It's quite a bit. It's like 460 at rank 86 on the season pass. Before that, it, from zero, it's probably about 400. So it's not really a massive drop. 400 for a chest, 300 for material. And on every planet, except for the ADZ and Nessus, they give, I think, 60 for each, which is kind of weird. But patrols give you a massive amount as well. So the route I take is I go and get my gunsmith bounties. I pick up any Vanguard bounties that can be done in the open world. Uh, multi kills with super precision kills grenade then i go to the moon now this is on a tuesday every other day you can take the weeklies out of it but the dailies will be the same i pick up all the dailies from the moon i leave if there's a, and i do this on every planet if there is a uh, obviously the cosmodron has a weekly where you have to do public events a weekly is worth it because what between 15 and seventeen thousand xp just for a weekly i'll take it uh, but if there's a daily where I've got to do public public events, I leave it. And on the moon, if there's one for phantasmal fragments, I leave it. Because it's too time consuming. So I pick up the moon bounties, and then I go to the lectern. As I say, this is a Tuesday. And I pick up the weekly bounty, which is kill nightmares all over the solar system. And then I pick up the daily one, which is either kill nightmares on Nessus or on EDZ. Because you'll find them in Lost Sectors. You can just go in pummel through it, get, you know, if you kill the two nightmares, then damage the boss, then you get another two nightmares. So that's five nightmares in one run. So it's like two runs of that lost sector and you've done it. Then I go to the Cosmodrone, and while I'm on the Cosmodrone, I do my gunsmith bounties as well, because the Cosmodrone do not ask for specific weapons. So it's not auto rifle, pulse rifle, hand cannon. It's energy, primary, precision. So you can do your gunsmith weapons at the same time there. And this is where we start farming. Well, we do a little bit on the moon, but getting the materials in the chest because they're everywhere on the Cosmodrome. You can really rack up some XP on the Cosmodrome, picking up materials and chests. And patrols, don't forget patrols. After the Cosmodrome, I've got Nessus. Then I go to, uh, then I go to Europa. And I pick up, I say a Tuesday, there's a weekly for doing public events, patrols, law sectors. I pick that up and then I take the four dailies and the, the five repeatables, do them. Then I go to the throne world. Now, the throne world sometimes, if there's a daily, so the difference between a daily and a repeatable, you'll know the differences because dailies have got XP plus and repeatables have just got XP. If there's a daily for doing a, a public event, then fine. But if there's no daily for doing a public event, and I get that as a repeatable to do a public event, I delete that bounty and pick up another one. Because then what that means is nearly all the bounties that I picked up can be done in one lost sector run. Which is, what, five minutes? That's nine bounties in five minutes. Then, most of the time, I'll probably be full by then. So what I'll do is I'll look at my friends list, see who's about, and I'll go and join someone. I'll message them and ask them if I can join. I've done it with strangers before. I've just messaged someone in the tower, hey dude, can I jump on your handsome bounties in? They're always cool about it. Second tip, make sure that they're quite high on the season rank. Pick the highest person you can join because 
Once you hit level 5 on the season rank, you get Shared Wisdom. You've got to get rank 5 to get Shared Wisdom. And then during periodically, you get loads of little XP boosts every 10 levels on a 6. So you, you get your first XP at 5, and then it's 16, 26, 36, 46, all the way to 80, 86. Some of them are small fire team bonuses, which is Shared Wisdom. Uh, so the higher they are on the season pass, the more XP boost you'll get from joining them. So join them. Make sure when you join them, you change to the the. Now you want to change to the blinding the 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 blinding light to get that extra two percent from the bounties. Make sure if you're going to do any more bounties after that, make sure you change back, and then thank them and leave. Go and do whatever you've got to do. After you've done that, after you've done your bounties, you're ready to go. Now that's the bounties. Now if you've only got one character and you only play two or three times a week, try and get it done once or twice a week because it's a, if you do it twice it's a guaranteed just about a guaranteed 9 or 10 season ranks a week just from doing that. The other thing is when you do your bounties for each vendor, so what you've got Gambit, Crucible, Vanguard, your Clan XP, Finch and now the Leviathan, you get a weekly amount of XP when you collect your reward. So that's between fifteen and 17,000, depending on where you're on the season rank, season pass. So that's almost a season rank on its own. 15,000 per, per pickup, that's 90,000 from those per week. Any activity that has a pinnacle link to it, so uh, the new exotic mission. Is it, is it exotic? I don't think it's exotic. The sewer. Uh, that'll give you a weekly amount of XP on completion. Nightfalls. I'm not sure Strikes and Crucible and Gambit give you weekly after every match, but they give you a chunk. Uh, raids give so much XP. If you go into a raid, there's a good chance even if you were at zero for that rank, you would level up. You would get a season rank out of a completion of a raid. You get a lot of XP for uh, raids. I think the harder the difficulty or the more prestigious the, the, the activity, the more XP you get for completing it. It's the same as enemies. You get more XP for higher enemies that you kill because... Obviously, you get XP for all, all the enemies you kill. After that, that's about that is about it. that is that is all the tips and the hints that I've got. Now, if you couple that in with properly leveling, so if you've got one character, there are a number of pinnacles. What there's like four pinnacle activities on 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 the the throne world this week. Uh, Last Wish and Shattered Throne uh, boss battles give you a pinnacle. Uh, oh, there's there there are just so many. There's the the new dungeon, the sewer mission, Nightfall, hundred uh, k. There are tons of uh, pinnacle activities. Let this is more about XP, but just about leveling. Make sure you you know what level you are. When I when I say that. To level properly, there are eight individual gear levels in each power level you get and your overall gear score. So make sure that just getting maybe your bond or your class items too underneath your 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 base gear level. So you're 1562 and your bond is still 1560 and you only need two points to become 1563. Don't burn a don't burn a pinnacle on that. Go and do like you know, those, the bounties, pick up the, if, when you do the bounties for leveling purposes, you could leave them and pick them up should you need something to level you up that's at your level because legendaries will drop at your level. So, be, leveling up, I, I think, in the video you'll see my Titan is like, I think 1577 but my Hunter's 1580. I haven't touched any pinnacles yet on my Titan. I haven't done anything on the Titan yet. So, you can level up really quickly now in Destiny. So, that's it. That's that's all my tips and hints. Uh, make sure that you've got the right XP boosts on. Join somebody who's quite high on the season rank when you're doing it. Do the rotation of your bounties the way that I'm doing it. Take you about an hour, as I say, about an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, about an hour and ten minutes to do a full set of bounties. And as you do them, it might take you a little bit longer the first time, but you'll become more efficient. Make sure you've got a good spread of weapons as well, because you're going to need them. And uh, there you go, guys. That is the guide. Thank you very much for, for watching. If you did enjoy this, uh, a like would be much appreciated. 
Uh, take it easy, guys. There will be more videos to come. I'll get the Nightfall video started again as soon as I hit that power level. And I haven't really given the dungeon much of a look, so I will actually go in and really smash the dungeon. Uh, hopefully next week. So take it easy, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.